First published in 1911, Zuleika Dobson is Max Beerbohm's satirical tale of unrequited love, which becomes requited animosity that in turn devolves into farce. It is set in Edwardian Oxford, with all the outrageous snobbery you might expect. Nevertheless, the author opens with a note reassuring the reader that the fantastical conceit of the book bears much in common with the real turn of the 20th century Oxford. Here I'll look at the 1966 edition, published by the Folio Society. The book is bound in bright yellow cloth blocked on the cover with a brown ZD monogram designed by Vernon Shearer. The spine is blocked with the author's name and the Folio Society in small gold type. There is also a larger gold title label set on a printed brown background. Judging by the copies of this book that I've seen online, the brown print is quite prone to rubbing. I managed to find a copy in reasonably good condition and have wrapped it in a protective mylar dust jacket to keep it that way. The title is printed sideways and reads from the bottom of the spine to the top, so you will either have to shelve this upside down or put up with the fact that the title looks backwards. The slipcase is grey and looks pretty spartan. It's a little less deep than the book, so the spine protrudes a few millimetres, but the slipcase has rounded caps to cover the top and bottom of the exposed spine. The binding is sewn, and the top edge of the text block is stained brown. The end papers bear two cameo illustrations of the book's main protagonists. The type is 11-point monotype Erhardt, with 1-point leading. As was common for books of the era, the text is printed letterpress, the impression is relatively deep, which might upset purists, but does give a distinctive look and tactile feel to the print. The quality of the paper, and especially the printing, is one of two big reasons to buy this ageing edition of the novel. The other reason is the illustrations, which were drawn by the author himself. While not the most visually arresting of drawings, the illustrations have a whimsical quality that fits well the text. Moreover, novels illustrated by the author provide an extra means of connecting with the book's vision. There are eight illustrations in total. 